Number 10. The first Godzilla film was released in Japan on November 3, 1954. It was titled Gajira in Japanese, directed by Ishiro Honda and produced by Toho Studios. In this original film, Godzilla is depicted as a destructive force awakened by nuclear testing and wreaks havoc on Tokyo, serving as a powerful metaphor for the consequences of nuclear warfare. The name Godzilla is a combination of two Japanese words, Garaira, which means gorilla, and Kajira, which means whale. This fusion of words reflects Godzilla's iconic appearance and characteristics, which combine attributes of both a gorilla and a whale, as well as emphasizing its immense size and power. Number 9. Godzilla is a beloved cultural icon in Japan. Godzilla was granted citizenship in the city of Tokyo, Japan, as a promotional stunt for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. This honorary citizenship was given to the fictional monster in April 2015 to promote the release of the film Shin Godzilla and to generate excitement for the Olympics. It's important to note that this citizenship is purely symbolic and doesn't have any legal ramifications. Number 8. Godzilla's iconic roar was originally created by sound engineer Akira Ifukub for the 1954 film Gajira. Ifukub achieved the roar by rubbing a resin coated leather glove across the strings of a double bass and then slowing down the playback. This distinctive sound has since become one of the most recognizable elements of Godzilla's character across various films and media adaptations. <laughs> Number 7. The Godzilla franchise holds the Guinness World Record for being the longest continuously running film franchise. As of 2024, there has been 39 films released in the franchise. Godzilla was inspired by Hollywood giants such as King Kong, as well as real-world events like nuclear testing and the devastation caused by atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Number 6. Quentin Tarantino, known for his distinct style and eclectic filmography, expressed interest in making a Godzilla movie. According to Tarantino, his idea was that the movie would be called Living Under the Rule of Godzilla. This is what society is like when a big green lizard rules your world. Unfortunately, the project never seemed to have gotten past the pitching stage. <laughs> Number 5. Before Godzilla took on the form we know today, the original concept for the creature was indeed a giant, mutated octopus. However, the idea was eventually revised, and Godzilla emerged as a prehistoric sea monster awakened and empowered by nuclear radiation. This change marked the birth of one of cinema's most iconic and enduring characters. Also George Takei, best known for his role as Hikaru Sulu in the Star Trek series, began his show business career by dubbing English voices for Japanese monster movies. This experience paved the way for his later success in acting and voice work. Number 4. During the filming of Godzilla vs. Mothra in 1964, there was an incident where the Godzilla suit caught on fire accidentally during an action sequence. This mishap led to some unexpected challenges for the production team. But fortunately, no one was injured, and they were able to continue filming after addressing the situation. Also in 1992, a Godzilla suit used in the filming of another Godzilla vs. Mothra movie was reported stolen from a storage facility in Hawaii. The suit, which weighed around 200 pounds and was worth an estimated $40,000, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. However, several months later, the missing suit was found washed ashore on the coast of Oahu. It's unclear how it ended up there or who was responsible for its theft, but its recovery bought relief to those involved in its preservation. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number three. Godzilla's size has varied across different films in the franchise. In some movies, Godzilla is depicted as relatively smaller, 
standing around 164 feet tall, while in others, he is portrayed as much larger, towering over skyscrapers at heights reaching up to 393 feet. This variation in size often depends on the specific storyline and the creative direction of the filmmakers for each movie. Number 2. There was a musical adaptation of Godzilla titled Godzilla, the musical. It premiered in 2013 in the United States and featured music and lyrics by Sean Keller and in Patrick Stork. The musical reimagined the iconic monster story in a theatrical format, offering a unique take on the classic Godzilla narrative. While not as widely known as the film franchise, it provided audiences with a fresh perspective on the legendary creature's adventures. Number 1. There are Godzilla conventions, often referred to as G-Fests, which celebrate all things related to Godzilla and other kaiju, Japanese giant monsters. These conventions typically feature panels, screenings of Godzilla films, merchandise vendors, art displays, cosplay contests, and opportunities for fans to meet special guests including actors, directors, and other individuals involved in the creation of Godzilla movies. G-Fest is one of the largest and most well-known Godzilla conventions held annually in the United States, but similar events can also be found in other countries where Godzilla has a significant fan base. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.